Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. It's Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, wrestling shirt, Rosenberg, and sister Nancy, Miss Bomb 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 Bomb. No, I talk about. Now we got um, Nancy. Before we get in, you have some T-shirts and things yes. we're going to be making sure that people could get their hands on because you are yes. the original. I am. I am. And I am. That I am. That I am. Yes. So I for for my life. In loving music, Bomb Bomb is one of those songs. Ooh, right? I think everybody course. agrees. Classic. Classic. In the song, you say, well, there's a lot of things you say, but the first thing I want to deal with is you say MC is your ambition. Mm -hmm. What year was this? 19, the tune is from 1982. 1982. Yes. And a lot of people, and we've talked about it on this show, the relationship between reggae dance hall and hip-hop music here in New York City and America, mm -hmm. um, there is no hip-hop without reggae dance hall, in my opinion. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's safe to say. And that's your opinion as well? Yes, it is. Um, what was happening in your world in Jamaica in 1982 when you said, listen, MC is my ambition. What were you seeing? Who were you coming up around? I am. Um, I said before that it's just that the the tune came out in eighty two, but I am. Um, I've been doing this since nineteen seventy six. Mm. You know, when it was just a um, man dominated. This, like now, it's mostly men, and I was the lone female among many men, including my brother who get me started. That's Brigadier Jerry. Mm. You know, he was the one who um, I mo he was motivated by him. I, I I watched everything that he did, so I followed him, and at the time. MC, them say MC likes for master of ceremony. That's what they, but you know, it's DJ, but because MC rhyme with the lyrics I have in Bam Bam, I say MC, but it, it's, you know, it's just basically DJ. You know, this Jackie. No, this Jackie was the one with the mic back in those days. But no, this Jackie is you who mm -hmm. play the music. But this Jackie in my days was a person who, you know, toast on the mic, you know, like you, Roy, and those men, those great men from back in the days. But MC is just master of ceremony. But in my part, it's mistress of ceremony. Mm. And right and, before, I'm sorry. Eva, go ahead, Lord. Well, right before she says, I'm a lady, I'm not a man. MC is my ambition. So I'm assuming your brother supported you when this oh, is yeah. the route you want to take. But how did other men um, mm. how did other men react when you came out and you were brave and you were like, this is what well, I want to do too? As I, as I said, um, I had him as an um, a inspiration, a motivator. And he was and still is the greatest for me. You know, I have, I have an easy time going through because of my brother, because of Brigadier Jerry, and everybody respected him. So I fall underneath that umbrella and get the same respect. Cause everybody wanted to hear me at the time, but because I sound so fine, my voice was so small. It's not like, no, it's mature. And some people say, eh, she ain't going to make it. Mm. And then some people say, don't stop Nancy. But he always encouraged me up to the time. Um. That was uh, that rhythm became uh, probably the most famous rhythm of all time. Tagalog. Um, was that was where does Bam Bam rent? Uh, where did it come out in the order of the songs that got popular? Bam Bam is one, is number one on it the was track. The, was it the first one? No, it wasn't the first. Arlene, um, General Echo. He, um, you know, he he passed away like nineteen eighty. He did. Um, Arlene, a tune name, you know, Arlene, I must say, Dream, you the Dream. I don't know if you ever hear it before. He did that one on it first. And then um, Tenasa did um, Ring the Alarm. Right. And mm -hmm. then I, 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 and it, it one I did um, Bam Bam on, on that track. Yeah, your voice, I guess the innocence in your voice, thinking about you saying it that way, there was an innocence in your voice, but also aggression. Still, like, still say, stay, stay the same. So when you're at the uh, Brooklyn Bowl, you still still it's better right now. It's I have a better voice because you know because at the time that I was young, I just wanted my voice on the radio. That's all. Everybody wanted to hear the, the voice on the radio. So if I you know if a producer approach you and and remember we don't get paid for these things. We just we we do them free because they don't pay you. You know it's not like now. You know now you you ask for what you want, you get what you want. Now you just those time you just do the music because you want to hear your voice on the radio. So a person that's linking you, you go do it. But I had an album doing at the time, the one two album, because mm -hmm. Bam Bam is a compilation of um one two. It's not just a forty five, you know, it's because of um the greatness or how you know good it's big it is. And I I didn't know until I got here how big it was because I never heard it play in Jamaica. Wow. Really? Never. Wow. <laughs> 
I've never heard it in Jamaica until I come. I migrated here in 1996. I never heard it down there. When I came here, I saw how big it was. Wow. For real. It wasn't big That's there. So crazy. Nobody played it. They played one two. One two was the hit there. Right. You know, that's that that's the my my um first number one there. So that was the, the hit and Bam Bam was the, the tenth tune on the one two album. And that was yeah. on and Bam Bam for me came on the big beat vinyl. That was the I think later they reissued it later. Atlantic they do, Big yeah, Beat. They yeah, did they a whole reissue of the it. The producer Winston Riley. After but not letting me know because I wasn't traveling at the time, I was just in Jamaica. You know, he take it upon himself and he take, you know, take it from, do the 12 inch, 7 inch, you do everything with it. Um, you, and I, I didn't know of it. I didn't know of nothing at all until I come here to live. So were you able to ever legally track down royalties and things oh, like yes, that? Oh, yes, I did. After um, 19, 2013, 14, um, after they put it on that Reebok commercial, um, after the Reebok commercial, I, you know, I, I seek legal, legal advices and um, rush at them and... And they settled. They didn't. After thirty-two years, I did the song. They didn't give me wow. the money for thirty-two years without, you know. And I didn't collect anything from it. But they wow. give me ten years back and forward. So now I have fifty percent rights of the. Team. Wow! Congratulations. Thank Good you. for That's you. That's nice. <laughs> never too late to get it. You never I know, know. I never used to get anything. So if they they said they can't give me back thirty-two years, but it was in belly. It's it it been in so much thing. Yeah. Dexter, they skateboard. They yeah, so everything. much things with it. You know. But after I, you know, I wanted to take them to court and everything. And, you know, these are people who I know, you know, because Mr. Riley was a, a good man to me. It's just that the tune that the tune is so big that he, he didn't even want to give me a cent. And I think that's greedy because I, I, I wrote it. I, I sang it. The only thing you did was provide the, the rhythm for me because I didn't have a rhythm. So I think at least it should have, you know, given me something from it. Of course. And he, I, think you know, a, I think 50-50 is a very spl- fair in this case. Yes, I, no, but if I didn't fight for it, I wouldn't, you I wouldn't have gotten, gotten it. it. No. no. So when I saw in the commercial, the Reebok commercial, I was in my living room and my daughter said, Mommy, look here. And I said, what? And I see this lady, I'm with Bam Bam, this, you know. I said, what, what, what the hell is this? Uh-oh. No way. So I, 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 have, I have to, you know, rush at them. And secular, they settled out of court. They didn't yeah. want to go to court. So. Rosenberg, you look like your head just exploded. Well, no, no, no. It's not my head just exploded, but then I'm trying to think of the time frame of then Kanye. Kanye was last December. Was afterwards. Yeah. So you yeah. did the legal work. Yes, I And did. again, I think it's just a funny story because people so often in the business, they think, oh, you know, I missed out on the money for this for so long. What's the point? It's a point. And you decided to take care of it then, right? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. there's a point. There's a point. It's a, it's well, a, and so, a then, point. so you think it can't get any bigger than the Reebok thing? Like, oh, well, there's a big commercial. And but then, then the next year. The next year is an interview. And Kanye gets to No, the times. interview. Oh, what was the that? The movie. In the movie, the interview. Wow. Yes. So, yeah, you forgot. Yes, I forgot was, about it that. It was in yes. the interview, too. Yes. Every December, they use, every year, somebody come out with it. And I, I promise you, it's going to happen until the rest of my life. Every year, because they you. can't resist that. They can't resist that voice and that rhythm. It just stick to them. So and uh, so, what what happened around Kanye using it? Did Ken, wh- Kenya, when Kanye know he was authorized and the interview they got authorization too? Because after I told after two thousand fourteen and I, I sued the company that's Westbury Music and they're they're based in England. They're the one who own Bam Bam. Hmm. And after I sued them and you know for not going to court because they could have lost everything to me, but I I didn't even want to do that because I told these are people that I know. You know, I grew up with these people, Winston Ryan and his kids. I grew up with them. So I said, all right, 50 50 is, is 15 publishing, master, everything. I said, that's fine, because I wasn't getting anything in a way. So now, if they're going to use it, I think VP Record is the one who does the publishing and everything for Westbury here. So whatever they're doing with it now, it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to get 50%. <laughs> Very And nice. that's so nice of her because think about it. For all the time that she wasn't getting any money, Nothing. she could have easily cleaned up. Cleaned them up. But I, I, I can't live for myself. Mm. I have to. You know, and I, you know, I, they did something for me and, and I did something for them too. But they was, you know, they, they didn't realize how, how this would turn out. But I'm just using my my conscience. And right, say, all right, right, right. I don't want all of this. Just... Just give me what you know I deserve because I deserve something. I write this and do this. Yeah. You so, uh, Brigadier Jerry, Sister Nancy, you guys, what what was your grown? What was growing up like? What music was around when you were growing up? Were you guys in the church a lot? What yes, was the- my father 
as a pastor, my father is a pastor, my home, that I, I home, home delivery. Although I say I born a, you know, born a hospital, I was not. I was born home delivery. And I, I born in, at the home that like two bedrooms and the rest of the house is church. My father and mother always have a church. We are like um, we're Christian-minded people, Rastafarians and God-fearing. Um, but reggae is always there. You know, reggae is always there. And growing up, um, the music scene of Jamaica, right? So after independence, Jamaica mm -hmm. gets independence and Jamaican people start to create their own sound, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So they, the story goes that radio from the U.S. That's, well, but that's where Bam Bam come from. Bam Bam, Bam was um, the, you know, what the festival sound for Toots and the Metal back in the days, like right. 1969 or 66, I think. That's how the, 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 the lyrics come by. I mean, that, that's, that, um, that punchline. Bam Bam. I did one. Yellow Man did one. But Toots one is the original one. But he, he was in the festival song. So we, we just used that slang, the Bam Bam, from him. But up to the time, the Bam Bam with Sister Nancy, that's the, that's the right one. That's the one. And the Bam Bam represented what? The drum, the bass line? What did that represent? Just the... I don't know what it represents for them. I know what it means for me. And which was what? Just a bam bam, I just want them to know that me coming out and just look out because I'm I'm coming. I'm yeah. coming at this a bam bam, you see me. It means I'm attacking. Mm. You know, full speed ahead. Straight. How do you feel about uh reggae music and Jamaican music culture today? Do you, are you paying attention to what's going on? Of course I do. I pay attention. It's not the same as when I was um, you know, when I was in it. I I'm still a part of it. But when I was um in Jamaica, like, you know, recording and you know, working hard to, to make this make this thing that we were women, you know, we, we were women could, you know, see themselves as this man because sometimes if I was, didn't do it, it wouldn't be, a, no woman wouldn't do nothing like that because I'm the first one who started this. I'm the one who took it internationally. I'm the one who toured first, Sunsplash. I'm the first woman DJ who do all of them things. So I, I really took it from Jamaica and spread it. And where it is now, it's not good. And why do you say this? Because um, you have to practice what you preach. I, I believe that. I know that. Because um, in everything you're doing, you have to remember children. Because they live what they learn and they learn what they live. And whatever you teach them, that's what they're going to follow. Remember, your mothers are parents. Are, you don't have to be my mother. It can be any kid's mother. You have to remember that you're a role model people. The kids listen to you and they follow you. And whatever you put out there, they're going to stick to it. And sometimes the leaders that I see doing it, no, it don't make no sense. So you have issues with the messages in the music? Yes. And the way they, the way they, they bring it, they carry themselves. Mm. You know, it's, it's not the music they're selling them anymore. They're selling themselves. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? They, like they do anything, anything to make them vice here out there. Back in the days, I have to work. I have to work very hard. You know, I, I have a... It's like a, a function, a dance in West Milan or St. Elizabeth, our place. I don't, nobody not picking me up in a car in a limousine and nobody not giving me no money. I have to boom ride in a truck or with some chicken or goat or so to get there. No, they have it so easy. It's, it's your love, but it's true. They yeah. have it so easy. Them, a person call them and them for a show, they ask them for 20,000 US. They, got, they get that money. They pay them. They have it so easy. Limousine, nice hotel. I never have them thing. I used to sleep on the rocks or wherever. I sleep in Falco too. I beg people, to say, can I use your bathroom? I never have them like luxury like what they have now. But they, you know, they, instead of they keep it the real way, they change it and it changed for the worse. And the motivation for you back then was 100% to get your voice out. Tell Just your to story. get my voice out, yes. Just to get my voice out. And I did. Is there Have there been artists over the last decade or, or so that you've, are, are, are a fan of? Of course. Who's come along that you liked? I like um, Queen Africa, I, um, Lady G, and um, Sister Carol. Those are the women that I really like and listen to. I will play them in my car or in my home. I won't play nobody else. And the men, I I love the, the men who keep the, the thing real, you know, different from my brother, because I tell you, he's the greatest for me. But like Buddha Bantan and, you know, Sizzler. Chronics now too. Chronics you know, now, yeah. I, I love them because them conscious. You know, them them teach youth right, and it can't work. There's nothing you can do to go on the kids them because after you they're gonna be someone else. You have to, you have to, so you have to plant the right seed. 
you know, you have to plan the right thing what you want, unless you want your work, work in vain, you understand? Simple as that. Sister Nancy also will, uh, where I mentioned before, she will be at Brooklyn Bowl. You could go check her out. You could go check out the Bomb Bomb Happen Live. <laughs> a week from Thursday, the 25th. Yeah. Yes, it is. And you got, um, but you also have some t-shirts yes. that people, where does, you got the shirts? You got something we yeah. can see? Yeah. Yes, we do. Let's take, let's take a look at these uh, at these shirts. What's, is there a website? What's the website? Largeup.com. 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 Sister Nancy doing the shows. And the tees. I want to check out these tees. Let's see the flames right here. Oh, classic. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was when I was 19. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm double time that now. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Sister Nancy, I'm going to ask you, because this always happens, right? Yes. Where as we, I, I mean, I, it happens to me, um, where you watch the young people put music together and there's things you like and there's a lot that you don't. Yes, I do. Um, when you came out, were yeah. your parents, did they approve? No. Not at all? No, my, my, my mother, you know, she, no, because all, every parent wanted something good for them, their children. I, I do. I, I, I have a, one child and she had never heard me DJ in a dance. She's 29 years old. She's never heard you? No. She heard me house, in the house, but I never take her to functions, dance. No, it's, there's too much different environment and I don't raise her like that. And I know what's out there because I've been out there. My mother and father did not approve, but I was, you know, I was I born different and grow different from my brothers and sisters. I'm a, we call it a roughneck. <laughs> we grow like that. We grow like a roughneck. From it's out there, me have to go out there and see it. You, you know, hear your button me up in the house. I break out, I go in. <laughs> so I have to go to, you know, mingle and thing and see what's going on. From my, my, bro I, I, my brother doing it, so, and I, I always patronize him up to today. Is the greatest thing you've happened to me, Brigadier Jerry, my brother. So everything, if he if he's going out, I'm going out. He no want me come either. Sometimes I wear his own clothes, so he won't make me out. And, <laughs> you know, I'm a mass and thing. But, you know, just to, oh, just to get out there. Yeah. And I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. And say, make me one out. About 41 years. Wow. You know, yeah. Yo, this t-shirt's official, B. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. So oh, largeup.com right. large and the show is next uh, Thursday, on the Thursday the 25th. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn Bowl. Bro Brooklyn Bowl, yes. That right there. And there'll be a lot of, uh, you know, different entertainers. Just not me. That's not, not me. A lot of um, special guests and, you know, squeech it down. A lot, a lot of entertainers. Will nice. Be and I have to believe, okay. Sister Nancy, in the lyrics to the song Bomb Bomb, you say there's only one thing you can't understand. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was more than one thing at that time you couldn't understand because this song is specifically about people hating on you. Of course. That's what this song is of specifically course. about. Yeah, because as, as I said, when I started and sometimes I go places, people people boo me sometimes and, and tell me put the mic down and all kind of thing. But, you know, it never discouraged me. I say I have my brother beside me still and I said I go through. But Bam Bam is a, a tune where I just am. Um, I freestyle it first. I never ever write it. Because most of the lyrics I'm in the soul, they don't pronounce the words right. Because I've, I've looked at them many times and I see that them, some of them wrong. <laughs> 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 I, I, I went to the studio with Yellowman because at the time Yellowman and I was um, working together. Wow, I saw a name Aces in Center Mass and I am. Um, I did um, nine tracks on the one two album. I only had one track to do to finish that album. So I went to the Yellowman to the studio and he did a bam bam. And when he did it, I, I called Winston Riley at his record store downtown and I said, I think I want to finish the album now. And he said, look how long you start the album. You finally find a tune to put on it to finish it. I said, yeah, I do a bam bam. And he come pick me up. I just go to the studio and I freestyle. I didn't ever write. As often I do it, I write it. I just freestyle and do it. Because it, it, it's, it's, a li it's a little about, you know, things that I've, I've been through. And then it's a little about rhyming because it's after so nice. And I'm a little about where I, I come from. It's a little about everything, night. You know, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you see her. The original, the legend, Sister Nancy. Go check out Brooklyn Bowl. Hit up largeup.com. And are you going to be more active now? We're going to start seeing you a lot more? Yeah, but I, I do. I do work so much. I, I work every weekend, but I hardly work in the city. Got it. I hardly, I travel out of the country more than I work here, but I do a lot of work. I used to work in the bank and accountant 15 years and I retired in um, 2016 because I have so much shows, I have so much work to do.
What I do, I work every weekend. Wow. I'm out there. And you live out here in the tri-state area? I live in New Jersey. Yes, I do. And you go to Jamaica a lot? Three three times a year or four times, because my husband lives there. Very dope. So I go there like every three months. Very I do. Dope. I just came up on the what? The seventh. Wow. Looking forward to go back on the end of July. I mean, this is, I, I was honored. They told me I could have a conversation with you, so I was of honored. Of course you can. I'm great. They told me that I am to be aware of you because... I don't know, but I tell them they know me. I'm, I told them I'm a roughneck. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't want no I don't want you to bring the cutlass out on me. I don't have no problem. What, what? Sister Nancy's like, I ain't worried. I'm good. I can take him. No problem. I don't disrespect ever. That's Sister okay. Nancy, That's okay. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you.